hey guys welcome back so guys we are going to start with the new series with the php oops concept so that is object oriented programming in php so guys we are getting started with um, from the login registration and with the database connection okay so guys uh, i have already set up the files which you can see here that is our includes header navbar footer everything i have just set up over here so if you want to know how to set up this you can watch out the video which i have given the link in the description so this is the video guys where we can see that how to set up a front end panel and start working as the navigation bars so now guys let's begin with our first step that is the database connection in php oops okay so let's begin so let's go to our file so guys over here you can see that only includes and assets assets consist of your css js and image that is logo and yep guys and simple index.php file so let's close all the files and begin with index.php and here is the output so now let's create one folder with the name config that is our configuration and inside this we will create one app.php file okay so in this we are going to define our database connections and his host and all so let's begin with php open and php close so type define function where inside this you'll tell db host comma inside single quote we are going to give local host so copy and paste the next data will be your database user so for the local host it's a root and for the password we keep it null underscore password and let's this will be a database db underscore database and now guys what is the database we have to create one database so i have just already created one admin panel okay so this is my database right now it's empty so let's copy this database name and paste here done so our database defining is done and yep let's create a database so we are going to create a class guys so let me type database connection dot php file done so make sure you are giving the correct spelling and let's create a class with the same file name that is database connection okay and now guys inside this you are going to start with your database connectivity so let's create that public function function double underscore i mean underscore underscore construct function okay so which will whenever we call this class it will automatically call the connection so guys now let's write the connection in object oriented so mysqli new mysqli where you can mention your the file name okay i mean this app.php define so let's copy this db host user password and database so you just need to copy comma db underscore user then database underscore password first and then your db underscore database all set so now guys let's check if this is connected means you have to give so not symbol dollar conn that is connection if it's not found if the database is wrong let's give die over here and inside double quotes let me just print in h1 tag that database connection failed okay and if it is connected then you are going to return dollar this of connection which your dollar con so let's copy and paste all set guys so now we need to check this if it is connected or not and you can go to your app.php and include that database connection over here 
so let's include once open and close where we'll tell database connection.php file and now you can call your database is equal to new database connection so let's go to our index.php and include that file let's copy this paste here let's go to the config folder you're going to app.php app.php let's save and get back refresh okay so nothing happens but we want to show the message so you can go to your database connection and before that let's echo and that is database connected successfully refresh perfect so you can see here database connected successfully and if i try to make mistake i mean wrong database so let's give some random database name now refresh you can see that database mm, here you find unknown database okay so you are finding the error but you should not view all these pages so let's go database connection so here we will give one connection let's remove this because we are using object oriented so you can you have to just give connect error okay so now let's let me just comment out this echo and let's go and try refresh perfect so you can get that guys over your database connection failed so now let's go to app.php and give the correct database name that is admin panel and now you can refresh done so you can access your home page when you find any error inside your database you will face that database connection failed done guys so this is how we do database connection in php oops so guys let's see next video with the registration part how to make a registration in php using oops object oriented programming so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share